Hello everyone and welcome to this guide on Hirelings Explained. Um, hirelings are a type of NPC in the game. NPC of course standing for non-player character. Um, and these ones are generated in-game all throughout towns mainly. And there's actually very little info about them on the website. And I'll show you exactly what's missing right here. On the website, the compendium is pretty much the central location where you can find a lot of links to get information about what's in the game. Um, and I went here, of course, to find, you know, humanoids and NPCs, but when I looked through it, there's actually very little info within all these NPC links as to what they can do or what hit points they have. So I'm going to be going over um, what NPCs there actually are, because not all of them are listed here. Um, and what they can do and how it can actually help you, especially as an early, early on player. The website does have a list of commands um, that are very similar to pet commands that will show you how to use these hirelings. Um, but let's get right into um, which types there are. First off, we have the beggar slash peasant. Um, they're called two different things, but they have the same base stats, which is the 26 strength. Um, and for all NPCs, the strength and hit points are always the same and they can also be increased. Um, they're just going to show some tactics. Some of them will show wrestling if they don't come with a weapon sometimes. Um, both beggars and peasants kind of get a mix of whatever weapon they have or some of them are unarmed. Um, next is the bards, um, which are actually the worst. They all have um, 16 strength and hit points um, and they vary between having bows and then uh, melee weapons. Oh, and uh, before I get too much further, to hire any NPC, um, regardless of what type they are, you can usually go up to them and type hire, and they will give you a bit of info as to how much it will cost to hire them per day, although not all of them will give you a response when you say hire. Most of them, especially ones around Oclo, will um, respond to you. Um, and so you can do, the minimum of this one is 3 gold, but if I do 33, that will give me 11 days. But uh, as you can see from others, that same 33 will only get me about one day. So that's going to vary quite a bit. Um, this NPC here is a pirate slash sailor. Again, two different names, but they're basically the same thing, coming with uh, 86 hit points every time, no matter which one of them you hire. Um, even though they're, the amount they want from you will change slightly, you can see uh, this guy here also with the same 86. And just to confirm, make sure this one is actually, yeah, that's a sailor, and they will also have that 86 um, strength and hit points as well, which I'll show you later on. Um, you can actually increase that to 100 by training them, um, and we'll get into that in just a minute. I'm just going to show you a few more uh, well, the last couple types of NPCs you can hire down here. The NPCs that always have the name Fighter are pretty common, um, but they have inconsistent um, hit point slash strength stats. Um, they can be anywhere from 40 to 100, so there's a very big range, um, and most people won't have GM animal lore, so they won't be able to see their stats. So be careful about hiring the fighters, as they may actually be pretty terrible. Um, something that you'll usually have a very safe bet on hiring is the Paladins. Um, this one actually has the maximum of 100 strength and hit points, but they can be as low as 90. Um, but still, 90 is pretty good. It's plenty to help you get your healing skill up or tank something pretty significant. So those are all the types of NPCs you can hire. Um, and one last thing on them. If you do have animal lore, you can see that these guys have a loyalty rating just like a pet. And also, like a pet, it will go down over time, and you can feed them to um, keep it at wonderfully happy. Um, now, on pets, you can use commands like all guard to keep them happy, but hirelings' um, loyalty does not increase when they follow commands, which is strange, but just something to be aware of. Um, now, getting on to the timers or hired time. Now, as you saw at the Oclo docks, there were some pretty inconsistent amounts that NPCs asked for. Um, if you go to the Jillum pits, however, you'll find that um, most NPCs here all require the same uh, amount of 10. So it's not a bad idea to come here and get a paladin for just 10 gold. That's a pretty good bargain, especially if you're a new player. Anyways, if you do drop the minimum requirement of 10 gold onto any of these guys in here, 
most any of them, some of them don't work, but uh, most of them take the 10 gold and they will say they'll work for you for one day. And what is that one day? It is actually 61 minutes, and that's because it's the base of 30 minutes plus the one day, which is 31 minutes. Uh, in some w strange way that makes sense but each day adds another 31 minutes so if they say they're gonna work for two days that 62 minutes plus the 30 um, making for a total of 92 minutes for two days now I've just hired this paladin for three days with 30 gold um, and that's math is gonna be as shown here where three days comes out to the 123 and I mean you can just use that basic equation shown there to calculate how long they're going to last, but I mean, you're not really going to need much more than the uh, what they call three days because that's pretty much two hours. So if you need them more than two hours, you can always release them and rehire them, and it restarts the timer based on however much you pay them when you rehire them. Transferring NPCs or hirelings does not change or alter the timer in any way and it actually allows um, players to have multiple up to eight um, hirelings at a time as they work the same with pets using control slots. You can transfer them to another person, each one taking one control slot so you can have a total of eight hirelings if you really want to. But they have to be transferred from another player to you because if you try to hire more than one, they'll give you the message saying that you already have a hireling following you. What you're seeing right here is actually a little bit of some of the DPS testing I did with Jupiter on um, these NPC hirelings. Uh, we were both very curious as to how much damage they could do, and if you're unaware of a uh, DPS challenge I have set up in the forums, you can look at it at the uh, suggested link here. And also, if you're curious about how much damage these hirelings actually do, I have another link here that will show you um, the results of the DPS testing they did. Now, granted, they're not going to have a lot of um, DPS. That's really not what these hirelings are for. Um, early on in the game, yes, they're going to help you kill things like lizard men and rats and whatnot. But later on, they can actually still be quite useful as uh, meat shields. Um, a character with just 90 healing, like mine here, is able to keep any one of these paladins alive because of the three second heals. Um, and that makes your Dexter build far more practical in a lot of situations, whereas if you're just going after a dragon and you're using parry and maybe even magic resist, your odds of winning that fight without doing some form of hit and run are not very good. But that is about all you need to know about NPC hirelings. Again, there is a page on the website that will give you a list of all the commands you can give them. Um, in general, paladins are the ones worth using. If you really want to, you can use the um, bard archers for some additional range damage, but uh, I already tried it and I'm speeding this video up times 20 and you can see how long it takes me to kill this one dragon. So probably not going to use them for damage. But during that fight, two of the bards actually did increase from their minimum of 16 uh, strength up to 17 or 18 and um, it showed me that you can actually train these guys up if you have a lot of time and patience and you're willing to continually release and rehire them as there is currently no way to bond a hireling or stable them. I hope you enjoyed this video on Hirelings Explained. If you think I missed any information about Hirelings, please let me know in the comments on the forums or in IRC. Um, and other than that, thank you for watching.